Welcome back to Investor News, everybody. I'm Peter Clausey. It's 2024. We have an exciting project for you to follow all year. This is a multi-property company with some very, very exciting assets. It's Panther Metals trading as P-A-L-M on the LSE. Today, we're lucky to have Darren Hazelwood, CEO, joining us. Hi, Darren. Hi, Peter. Thanks for having us on. Uh, you and I first met in West Hemlo. We certainly did. Uh, um, we were helping each other out with a couple of problems. Uh, you have projects in West Hemlo, and you have a uranium project indirectly in Saskatchewan, and you have a new graphite project. Where do you want to start? <laughs> so, look, the Let's start on our, our indirect projects because ultimately we're a business that's developing the next VMS camp in, in Canada, which is a big statement. This is happening that, on that's the. A, that's um, a big, sexy statement. It certainly is, Peter. We've, we've put we've put a total of six holes into the VMS potential. We've discovered four new lenses. We've discovered two separate VMSs. We've hit zinc over a very short distance of half a meter, but we've shown that, that the system is carrying. On, on the, the wishbone area of a bonga. Look, this is carrying copper grades in, in, in lake sediments over numerous, over 800 ppms. It's it's huge. And it's the, it's it like very... you're reading from the investor's checklist. What can I say? It's the, the, the opportunity. We, we control 90% of this greenstone belt. The greenstone belt directly to our east, the greenstone belt directly to our west. They've both had multiple mines on them as well. And we've got the legendary uh, pros prospector in, in Canada, Jim Franklin. He's telling this, this he, he believes this is a sister greenstone belt to Sturgeon's Lake that had five producing mines from the, right. the late 60s right into the 90s. And nobody's ever done real exploration on a bonga. And, and where, sorry, where is a bonga? So a bonga is approximately two and a half hours north by Tarmac Road from, from Thunder Bay. Uh, it's on, the, on the way to our. It's on the way to Armstrong. Okay. So you can drive onto the property. You, right. So this is part of the reason it's been, um, th there's been a lack of exploration on there, is that for the juniors, it's a difficult uh, greenstone belt to get onto because there is no road. You can get right up to the greenstone belt, but then then there's a, there's a lack of access. So with, with the scale potential of it, it's really a major playground. But we've been unwrapping this thing over the last couple of years. And every time we take layers off, it becomes more and more exciting. And we're now at a pivot point where we're, where we're, we're really going for this. Now, due to our own discoveries, we've, we've, we've got what the VMS potential. We're at well, a pivot look, point. What are, we, what are we going for? Well, look, we now know um, that we've got, this is a VMS camp. This is an emerging VMS camp. Uh, we Last week, we announced the discovery of graphite, which is still on the Greenstone Belt, but it's, it's to the north northwest of the VMS area. Okay. Um, we, we've, we've hit 27, over 27 metres of, of graphite, a, a, a reasonably low grade, but we weren't targeting graphite, and this is from surface. We said over 2%, 2.25% is it's averaged out at. But we know that graphite in that area is abundant. It's it's in historic reports. And we've got to remember that the graphite has only relatively recently become a commodity that people are looking very seriously for. Right. And um, and the historic data tells us that there's graphite. We've got reports of graphite as surface, but it's it's buried in these in, in these reports. We've now hit numbers. And we've got an, an immediate exploration area, something like 21 square kilometers. And so, that's what I'm Darren, if this VMS. is a new area, then I'm going to assume you don't have a 43-101 on it. No, we don't. We don't. So, we, we, so we, then we have to do the historic disclaimer when you're talking about historical data, right? Oh, abs absolutely. Okay. Um, but it's it's all part of the DD process. And with so as a company, we've got, as you, as you rightly said, we've got, just to backtrack a touch, we've got a holdings in two different companies, 20% of Fulcrum Metals that have got yeah. uranium in Saskatchewan and, and, and other projects. We also own 23% of an, an ASX-listed company. Uh, we have a project near Hemlo 
um, just north of Hemlo, Dotted Lake. That's right by, by Palladium One that the, the Canadian market will know very well. Yes. We've also got the Manitou Lakes Gold Project. We we share many borders there with, with Dryden Gold, who have just recently listed on the TSXV in the last couple of weeks. Um, but, but the idea of those is that we use those as um as a potential liquidity event because all all our all our focus is on a bonga because a bonga offers everything that junior is after and 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 by by design also what a major would be looking for we've got scale we've got 291 square kilometers that we that that, that we have control over on that greenstone right. belt and that represents 90 percent of it We've now got the discoveries. We've got the VMS. We've got the graphite. So it's, it's a perfect setup for a junior explorer. What about selling out uh, the the fulcrum metals twenty percent that you own? Is there any chance of dividending that back to the shareholder base? Well, look, the, the the we we need to keep control of our capital structure to make sure that the that the work that we do and the discoveries we make have a direct impact on on shareholders and and positive for our investors. And as an explorer, that that means capital. It means bringing capital into the business. And these holdings give us other options than just pure dilution. And I'm always looking to investigate all options to to to, to basically make sure that those real multiple returns are there for shareholders. And and we use the tools that we've got to allow us to do that. Hence, we mentioning the potential with dotted, the potential that. At, um, at Manor 2 and, and also clearly the holdings we've got elsewhere. Everything in the business is now direct to, to a bonga and, and this, 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 this Greenstone Bell is going to make headlines. What's your shareholder base like? We, we, we are predominantly owned by it's a private investor shareholder base. Um, within that around 35% of the business is owned by but by by five people, yourself being one of them, right? Yeah, I own around five percent of the business. So, what's going to happen this year? Twenty twenty four is going to be a big year because the, the, the initially we're going to see the the attack on 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 Wishbone, the VMS, and the survey, which are the two VMS areas on a bonga. Uh, but we're going to work um, con- contiguously with with the graphite. Um, on on a bonga as well. That's that is the key takeaway. It's about the discoveries. It's about turning these four. Any one of those four lenses can contain a de- deposit. You know th- these are it's an Archean greenstone belt. These rocks have been shaken about o- over a lot of lot of years, and um, it's it's about now finding that deposit, getting that one drill hole, and that that changes the world for for everyone. We've already proved the system carries. Um, combine that with the graphite, we know there's a lot of interest in graphite. The the Ontario government, we've already been in 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 talks with. We understand what they're looking for. They're keen to support. So we're we're in a nice place. How is, how are your relationships with First Nations, which are vital? Oh, absolutely. And look, you know, we 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 were in communications with the First Nations within that area. And I'm always looking to build on those relationships. You know, we've been fortunate. We, they've, I, I think that um, the, the First Nation within that area, both First Nations group, that they understand that uh, I, I'm looking to learn from them as much as 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 they're looking to understand from me, and that we come to we come to this from with a very genuine outlook. It's their their traditional lands. We're coming to them as opposed to the other way around. And we're respectful of that. Well, to make that pie bigger, you're going to require capital. How much cash do you have in the bank? And what are your plans for that this year? The, 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 there's there's multi elements to this, Peter. Um we've got we've 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 got options, which is unique for a junior. And when I talk about those options, as already discussed. We've got options in terms of holdings in listed companies, and um, we've got other projects that we, we we could look to 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 leverage to to enable us to to push forward. Um, we've had conversations regarding flow through as well in Canada. In fact, we've had we, we we've had some 
some reasonably substantial offers. Um, we've got a lot of interest in Canada and what we're doing. The Canadian market tends to get it more. London is slowly coming around. I, I, I think it may be a little bit of a confused message in London. They weren't sure whether it was an explorer or an investment vehicle due to right. our holdings. But um, but they're now getting that, that, that it was it was good business decisions that left us with those holdings. But but we are very much an explorer and um, uh, and we're looking forward to getting on the ground. So we should be excited about Panther Metals trading as PLM on the LSE in 2024 because? Discovery, opportunity, scale. We've got all of those within our project and within within the Abonga Greenstone Belt. And the, the, the we are super excited about not just what we've already discovered, it's what we believe this will now lead to. And that's what you're going to see in 2024. Steady flow of news. We'll be excited to follow. Mr. Hazelwood, thank you for your time. I'll be speaking Thanks. to you again soon. It's Peter Clausey saying thank you and signing off from Investor News.